up. What's up? Hey, bro, hang on. How's that? Is that better? What's up, everybody? Ooh, wow. Let me just. We're not gonna start over. We're just gonna get. We're gonna get going. Let's just adjust. We're doing some live adjustments. Not necessarily live because my Xfinity guy has to still come fix things. Uh, but anyway, I want to talk about something. So, Evolving Sky is getting a reprint. Keep hearing a lot of stuff about this, which would be devastating for that particular pack, uh, for that particular set. Because so there hasn't been talks about it, right? Uh, no talks about a, a reprint or anything like that. But you know, it's got it. Like I called it like a glass cannon the other day. You know, it, it's got the. Um, just banger hits, but there's so few and far in between. You got the Moonbrion, and then there's some other ones, and then a whole lot of nothing. You'll open up a thousand packs, and you might get one. I, I couldn't even put solid money on the bet that if you opened a thousand packs, there'd be one in there. But we're hearing a lot of things, and the reason why I have these three tins in front of me right now is because uh, someone said they're doing a, they did a small reprint. They're not saying it, and they're not pushing it out in booster boxes, but they're pushing it out into other things to get some other product off the shelves. And he said, Evolving Skies is in all of these. It used to not be in there, but it is now. So I haven't opened up these. I have no idea what's inside or if it, if it always came that way or not. So I kind of want to talk about it and get your guys' opinion. Uh, have you heard anything? Would they, you know, do a reprint? And to think no one at that company is paying attention to what's going on, they for sure are. And if you want to move some product off some shelves because you got some new stuff coming out, which we did see, by the way, the, uh, the new one coming out in August, that's going to be amazing. I'm buying all of them. I'll say that from the, the, the Poke Center. I'm, I'm going to Target, Walmart, card stores. Uh, I'm going to do a binder fill on, on that one. Um, that's going to be amazing. Uh, but anyway, you know they're paying attention, and they need to get some stuff off the shelves, so they just start putting the Evolving Skies, which has all the hype in there. You start putting them in these, you pretend it's been that way the whole time, and it's not necessarily a reprint, because if they announce a reprint, uh, then the demand drops off. You know, There's no more buying them for $9 a pack. They're going right back to 4 and there's no rush. There's no line at the store. It's like, man, I'll stop by and get them. There's plenty out there. You know, It's just supply and demand. Uh, but that being said, let's jump into the, uh, the pack openings. I know it's what you guys want and we're going to save this one for last. This one kind of makes sense to have evolving skies in there. Uh, and Espeon. I just wish it wasn't pink. Not going to lie. If Umbreon had these powers, if these guys would just switch powers, if Umbreon was the psychic one, I think the way it looks should have been the psychic one. Probably my favorite one. I, just hands down. That, that, that'd be it. That, that would, that would beat Toxtricity. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Let's uh let's kick it off with uh Tyrantra. Let's get our let's clear our board here. We got our little hip board. Let's make sure we're nice and center on on that so we don't take anything up. Get it all in there. All right. Remember, this is something I printed off a, a 3D printer. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six levels. Six levels on there. It'll hold about three wide. Technically, there's a seventh one. I just don't like using the top. I don't know why. I guess we could. We might have to do that with uh with Crown Zenith coming up. I need you guys to do me a huge solid crush that subscribe button for me uh, and hit that like button. It really does help out the algorithms on, on this. Um, do me a huge solid because the stream we have coming up is the 100,000 subscriber giveaway. What I'm going to be doing on the journey to 100K and what I'm giving away at 100K. So give me all the help you guys can get. Just hit that subscribe button for me, please. We're coming in here and we're killing it. That's all we're going to do is just kill it. I'm going to work on the yelling and getting excited. And that's what the other YouTubers do. It's just not me as a person. I don't think I, I can. Uh, but if you knew me as a person, I, I'm nothing shy of toxic masculinity, so it's going to take a little bit to pretend like I have emotions. Uh, I have them. They're bottled up. They're inside. we got to get them out. It's going to take a little bit. All right, there is our Tyranitar promo. Single strike. Let's, uh... All right, so we got a black code card. Just kidding. Code card. Let's go. Oh, hang on. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Let's get everything out. All right, so we did get Brilliant Stars. Brilliant stars. And what do you know? Oh, hang on. Evolving skies. Evolving skies. Evolving. Well, it's going to be evolving Christ. I like that selection. Three. Three chances to get nothing and complain about it. Uh, but I got to say, I like it. Uh, let's put this. We're going to put these. No, let's just put these tins off to the side for now. Ooh, let's go. All right. Uh, everything clear. Everything good. Let's get Brilliant Stars out of the way. Let's get Brilliant Stars out of the way and see what kind of hits we got. Uh, and then we'll jump into Evolving Cries and get our set of complaints in there. 
Should we just burn through the three packs of Evolving Skies and make it a, a YouTube short later? You know I can do that. Those YouTube shorts are good for good for three packs. If I just turn and burn, we skip all this. All right, Flygon, Reverse Hollow Rare, and a Motham, Non-Hollow Rare. All right, and we got Energy, Dusclops. All right, Roseanne's backup, Code Card. All right. I think let's do it on one of them. Let's do all three right now. We're going to do it under 60 seconds. We're going for it. All right, we don't need to be here for three hours. Although, I got to say, I don't mind the three-hour streams. I really don't. Watching Poke Rev. Uh, passes the time by. Not really just background noise, but just something you're interested in, too. Cynthia's Ambition for our reverse and a non-holo rare. Uh, gives you something to focus on. And I actually struggle with anxiety quite a bit. Coming down off it, like, it comes in waves. Uh, but it definitely just gets your mind off it so you don't get in that, that race. Uh, so we can definitely do some longer, longer streams if you want. All right. Evolving Cries or Evolving Skies. Let's do this. We're, again, we're going right through it. We're skipping everything. We're going straight to the hits, and we'll knock out our code card. All right. Flowette for our reverse holo and a non holo rare Evolving Cries. There is your code card. Let's get into the next one. This is our next set of tears. It's never going to happen. I'm going to flip one day if we ever do get the Umbreon, if, it, if it's even real. All right. Moon and Sun badge. And we got a Lycanroc V. We did get a hit on that. We'll call that Evolving Skies. There we go. There's your code card. Last but not least, does that count? Does Lycanroc even count? Can we call the Evolving Skies on that? We will for now. Let's. All right. Riot you with a Reverse Hollow Rare and a non evolving cries come on guys i mean not that anybody's surprised anyway there you have it for your evolving skies packs we did get one hit one hit out of three all right i'll give you that you know what let's uh did we uh i know if i don't do this i'm probably sitting on something ridiculous a glitch pack just went nuts probably got a whole pack of gold except for the top card Sitting on millions, probably. I, you know, I'd be the one guy that pulls a base set, Shadowless Charizard, and an Evolving Skies pack, and I would never know because I made it for a YouTube short. <laughs> uh, that'd be hilarious. All right, let's get uh, let's get organized. Let's get our uh, we're saving that one for last. All right, where'd the blade go? There we go. And why do the other YouTubers not use these? These are amazing. They're the best. You can adjust this. You're not just cutting everything up. Like, they're using, like, pocket knives or actual blades, which is funny because that's what I use, like, working at a shop and everything. I just have, doesn't sound good, but in my garage, there's blades everywhere. Like, why don't they ever just do that? So, like, my one thing I want to ask the other YouTubers. Oh, we got battle styles. What do you guys think of battle styles? Let me know in the comments. That's a serious question. Do not watch this and not answer that question. What do you guys think of battle styles? There is your code card. All right, Empoleon V promo. Let's put our three promos at the top. Um, Battle Styles, uh, it has the Sleepy Tyranitar in there, but I guess it's just not a fan favorite. Battle Styles, Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage, Sword and Shield, Sword and Shield. So I was lied to. Only the Tyranitar tin had the Evolving Skies in there. That hurts my feelings. Look at that. Wow. They just punt this thing. Hey, the shipment's in. Just right foot that thing off the truck. That's what they get for not having Evolving Skies in there, I guess. Man, did we just turn and burn through our only? Battle Styles, Darkness of Blaze. We've opened up all of these. Okay, I did like Sword and Shield. I, I just opened those the other day for the first time. All right, let's go. Battle Styles. I got two ETBs. You can see them right there for, for Battle Styles. I kind of want to save them. The difference between that and vintage is just a couple of years. And you know everything's more expensive when it's vintage. So how long is it going to take for battle styles to be vintage? Be cool to open again. I can make a YouTube thumbnail and people are clicking. I'm like, oh my gosh. Uh, can you imagine just buying that? All right. Fomantis for a reverse. And a non hollow rare Marowak. All right. Darkness ablaze. I have opened this, but I don't know what's what's in this one. Galarian Mr. Mime. 
I don't know what's so funny about Mr. I don't know why Poke Rev hates Mr. Mime. It's like a jinx. Uh, he'll never see us, so it won't matter. But I'm going to put together a whole pack. Like, I'm going to be strategic with it, too. I'm going to open it from the bottom, pack it with just all different mimes. And I'm going to send it to him and say, hey, appreciate you making the, making the videos. It's going to be funny. Hope he opens it live. Get rid of that. Get that mime curse out of the way. All right. Bun sweep for the reverse. Hollow and a non hollow rare Mel Metal. Getting angry with it. How funny would that be if it's a card you just hate? You get a whole pack of them. What we got? Vivid Voltage. Any hits in here? Wilmer, Weedle. Beldum, Pampy, Duskull, Blitzel for the reverse and a non hollow Clefable. Non hollow rare. Why is that a water energy? Oh, wash energy. All right, Sword and Shield base. Let's do this. Man, I'm pumped for that. Not the one coming out, not the friends. <laughs> I don't know their names. I'm sorry. Uh, the one coming out in August. That's going to be amazing. The one with Charmander on the box. Oh, gosh, I'm going to have a shelf full of those. All right. Red Ray, Ponyard, Score Bunny. Oh, a Galarian Rapidash, Reverse Hollow. And we got a hit, if you want to call it that. Cramorant V does, does still count. We'll call it that. Sorry, I'm shaky. I don't know why. I don't want the edges getting beat up, so I want to, like, line it up perfect. Keeping this to the side. My daughter's got a thing for for unicorns. She's going to love that one. It's going straight in her binder. Code card. Last one for Short and Shield. All right. We got Pincher. Pin, Pincher Chin. <laughs> Pinker Chin. And a, uh, a non hollow rare. Man, we're just striking out on these. I, I gotta say, I'd, I'd probably rather just have Evolving Skies. At least you know you're gonna strike out, but there's like that chance. Like, oh, this could be cool. You know it's not gonna be, but could be. It's a thought that counts, right? I feel like that's what they said in the in the making of that. It was just some disgruntled parent that their kid said, it's a thought that counts, right? So they couldn't get him a real thing, so they made him something in clay class. Most parents usually adore that, but... How is the trash right? You guys probably didn't hear that. The trash is right next to me. I literally just missed it. I hit the rim and then rolled out. Brilliant stars. All right, so is this going to be some, uh, first of all, is this even going to just open? Is this for real? <laughs> I couldn't even just get the plastic lid off. What is going on? I like this Espeon pin. How many is too many? You know, like when is it like enough to where you're just like, you're hoarding? I want to just be at that level where I'm not hoarding. Maybe one or two people question, like, hey, should you have thrown any of those away? No, of course not. Are you kidding me? This is going to be worth something someday. That's what I tell myself. Espeon V. I do like that artwork, too. All right, code card. I don't know. I, I, that was just blue. That would be a perfect one. I'm a, I'm a fan of blue. I'm all right with that. All right, what we got? Brilliant Stars. Brilliant stars. Fusion strike. One evolving skies and sword and, sword and shield. So we got a decent uh, variety, but I'm going to go ahead and say that whole uh, we're printing off more kind of thing. I know it's, I haven't drawn a thumbnail yet. I'm going to make it about it. Evolving skies just gets clicks right now. Uh, but I also do want to hear your opinions on that. Like, hey, what's up with that? But it doesn't look like they're in everything now just to get stuff off uh, like they were leading on. Which I guess is a good thing. At this point, I wouldn't mind. Actually, I, I don't know if I'd even mind a reprint. I just want to get the get the Moonbrion. At this point, it's a matter of principle. All right, yeah, we're skipping that one. I called this one Spirit Bomb the other day on a video. Sorry about that. Spirit Tomb. All right, by Doof. Non, reverse hollow. They're both confused. They're just looking around. And uh, they're looking around for that hit. 
Which Mewtwo? That's my guy. That might as well be a hit. Uh, cause it's Mewtwo. Beast mode. Mewtwo and I, we see eye to eye. You guys ever watch that first movie? When he said, "I'm gonna do things my way," basically. That's me. I'm a big fan of that guy. I'd have, I'd have been rooting that guy on the whole time. Go smoke him. Get them all out. Zero issues with that. All right, Star you, Riolu, Starly, Milsery, Carablast, Magmar, Reverse, and a non-hollow Grimmsnarl. Man, we're just uh, we're doing all right, aren't we? Fusion Strike. Let's go. We got the Espion Espion box. Espion promo. Let's get that Espion that everyone's after. That is it, I'm pretty sure it's the V Max. Espion V Max. The one sitting on the building. You know what I'm talking about. Don't make me say it. Code card. Doesn't look like it's gonna be this one. But we did get Asmero. Reverse hollow rare. And Meloetta, non-hollow rare. So you know. Another awesome pack. At least we get to complain about this one called Evolving Christ. What are the other ones? We got uh, Fusion Strikeout. Brilliant scars for scarring your wallet. And uh, Evolving Christ. Because we're going to open that pack. Hoping for the Moon Breon. We're going to pretend we had a chance. But we never had a chance. Moon Breon wasn't yours. You never had a Moon Breon. All right. Rough Flit, Low Tad, Woo Bat, Rubber Gloves. Get back to work and cleaning those dishes so you can... Vaporeon VMAX. I was just talking crap. I don't have this one, and it's not the one, but it is still, well, at least someone heard me. We wanted a VMAX. We wanted an EV Evolution. Not the one, but we will call that Evolving Skies. I'm sorry. They must have heard me. Anyway, I'll put my rubber gloves on, go back to cleaning dishes. Sword and Shield, this is our last, is this our last pack? I didn't announce it, so I guess we got to do one more, you know? Let's go with the, uh, you know what we haven't opened? Silver Tempest. Let's open up Silver Tempest on this stream. We got some of that hanging there. If this isn't a V or anything, Silver Tempest coming in hot. And Silver Tempest sent to Scorch. We have you to thank for that. And your metal saucer and your, oh, it's a quick ball. I've seen that one. I didn't know what it was. In the, the Sam's Club package. What are we feeling? We feeling saucy? I was going to say pick a number between 1 and 10, but, uh, well, you're not here. Let's go. Yeah, that's a Galarian Vulpix, right? And let's give Brilliant Stars one more shot. Look at this fancy new trick. Feels so cool for doing that. You guys don't know how, many, how, much, I've, how much time I've wasted peeling this right here with the glue and then getting it out. Saw someone else just do it, schooling me. Lugia, make it happen, bud. You are a psychic flying. You're, that's my territory. That's my kind. You are my people. I would join PETA if people were hurting you. Okay? I expect you to show me some respect. Ralts, we did get something. Dratini, Stuntfish, and we got Melodic Full Art. All right. Um, I don't know if that's cool or not, but it is a hit. I don't think it's a huge chase. And a non-hollow rare. Not bad. All right, if this has a V, we're going to open up packs until we don't get a V. So, probably this one. Nope, we're opening up another pack. You guys see that glimmer? I did this with my daughter the other day. I swear we should have got the camera out. She could have filled this board. I said, go ahead and go until you don't, fill it, until you don't get one anymore. Hammer time. Every pack. I'm not kidding. 16 or 17 V's, V stars, V maxes, full arts. Just kept going. Got a couple uh, double bangers in there. I'm like, this is unreal. Each time I thought, should I go get the camera? I was like, nah, surely that was the last one. Just kept going. All right, let's, let's knock this one out. We know we got a hit. We got something. We got a silver border. My luck, it's probably a silver Tempest card. Just, you know, wrong print. I got a glitch pack with something worthless in here. What do we got? What do we got? Gloria. Gloria, what's happening? That's a little tiny ball. I don't know if you catch much in there. But we did get a Gloria full art out of the brilliant stars. 
Not bad. So overall, we did three tens, five packs each. 15 packs plus 16, 17, couple extras, 17. Let's call it an even 20. Let's go even 20. Let's do, uh... all right, we got Lost Origin. Let's see what we got here. Let's do a pack battle. Silver Tempest. Um, and let's go Vivid Voltage. Pack battle. Let me know in the comments down below which one's pulling, which one's, right? Multiple choice here. You can select multiple. Which one has the V's in there? Don't cheat on this. Just be honest. Let's see what you got. And then which one wins? Let me know. This is, this is going to be 20 packs. We'll see how many hits we can put on the board. We'll kick this off with Lost Origins. Let's go. A little, a little dancing around. A little flower dress. Oh, she looks like a flower. What do you think? Uh, what's my decision? Um, what we got here? I'm going to say Silver Tempest. Silver Tempest, but I got a feeling it's this one. Silver Tempest is my final answer. It's not cheating when I say that. But I saw that silver. You know, it's a trainer. I was like, man, is that really it? Bronzer. All right. Box of Disaster. <laughs> Look at that. They got an Evolving Skies booster box. Um, all right. And a non hollow Malamar. All right. A couple others. Thornton. Like a giant thorn in your side when you're trying to open some packs, hoping for a hit. We got to write a letter to Santa Claus. I promise I've been good this year. I bought packs for all the boys and girls. Could you just maybe give me one with something good inside? Pretty please. I've done my acts of kindness. I do good things. All I want is a little Moonbrion action. A little. All right, Venomoth. One of the original 150 and uh, Del Fox. Look at that little sinister look. Look at that thing. Get out of here with that. He's up to trouble. He's up to no good. All right. Well, I was wrong there. It's up to vivid voltage now. Did anyone guess this? Is he even going to have it? Who said none? None of them are going to have a hit. Probably a lot of you because you're more experienced than I am when it comes to these. Oh, this stuff's new to me. That's why I even bought Battle Styles. I knew it wasn't going to be a big hitter because they, of how expensive they were. And by expensive, I mean not at all. But, uh, you know, you got to have you get a shot. Charmander, I do like him, though. All right, Nuzly. It was this one. Aegislash. Okay. All right. Aegislash V Full Art. So who picked this one? Who picked Vivid Voltage coming in hot with our last pack, Magic number 20? Not bad. Who picked that in the comments? Let me know. I'll, well, I'll know. Make sure you're here for the next video, though. Guys, do me a huge favor. Crush that subscribe button. Share it with at least one or two friends and have them subscribe. Even if they don't watch, say, hey, do this guy a solid. Hit the subscribe button. We need to pass this. We're sub 100. That's unacceptable. Let's get this going. I've seen this community. You guys rock. I need to reach out to all of you. I need to know who my first 100 are, but I need everyone else in this pool. We're hammering this thing, all right? We're coming in hot. I'm going to kill it. You guys are going to kill it. I promise. I'm going to work on the yelling. We're working on the excitement. I'm going to yell. I'm going to jump. I'll do backflips. Hit that subscribe button, guys, and I will see you in the next video.